We are going to do a side fishtail braid. This is very, very popular, whether it's in the summer, the winter, any time of year. What you'll do is gather the hair to whichever side you want to have your fishtail braid on. What I like to do beforehand is I keep my rubber band on my pinky because towards the end it's very crucial so that you don't have to step away from the braid and possibly lose some of your tension. So one of the biggest keys for a side for fishtail braid is keeping it low and towards the neck. Most clients, if you start off too high and you start braiding, the braid will pop out. Most people want it close to their body. So what we will do is, just like a classic fishtail, you will split the hair in half and staying close to the neck, you'll start gathering a piece from each side and bringing it over to the other. You can use your thumbs to keep the hair tight. It might take about five or six rotations, pulling hair from side to side until you can really feel like your fishtail is tightening up. You can see I'm pulling it and working close to the base. Also, if you feel like you have too much hair on one side rather than the other, you can always transfer hair around the back of your fishtail and you'll never notice. Like I said, just work with two strands of hair rather than three. Some people make the mistake of working with too many strands and then it ends up turning into a French braid. And as you can see, I'm still keeping the fishtail close to the neck so that it comes around rather than wanting to stick out. And I have more hair on my left side than on my right. So like I said, I'm gonna transfer a little bit of hair on this side. When you get towards the bottom, it's harder to pull strands from either side, just working with two. So a hairdresser's trick is we actually convert to three strands into a classic French braid. And as you can see, I am taking the rubber band that I had on my pinky and securing her hair. And this is a side fishtail braid.